Ask Reddit by Fazilao Lao. What's the worst Christmas bonus you've ever received? I worked at a company and the owner walked around during the Christmas party and gave people their paychecks in a fancy envelope. That way clients would be thinking that the employees were getting bonuses. Should said out loud in a non-judgmental confused voice, oh they're handing out the weekly paychecks now instead of picking them up at HR this week? Haha <laughs> I thought this was a bonus for a minute. The statement of be happy you have a job. They had to find a new replacement after that. You could just say no bonus, but you had to be dick about it. Yeah that would certainly warrant someone quitting. I hate when bosses act like I should appreciate the honor of working for them. I'd say nothing. I worked for a smaller business that did profit sharing, had a banner year and gave out a minimum of $500 gift cards to even new employees. I was skipped. I was told it was an accident and that someone just miscounted. I had been there 3 years at that point and put in some stupid hours, esp after going salary. I wasn't depending on the bonus but it was a real kick in the teeth. It made me feel less than and I started looking at leaving after that because they never made it right and I was one of 3 people excluded. When I put in notice to leave, my boss knew because he said, this is about the Christmas bonus, isn't it? If it was that important to you, you should have spoken up, I did. I expressed my disappointment. He said, I just thought you were venting. I didn't think you'd actually leave over this. I can't express to you how disappointed I am Tha. He never got the point. Okay boss, maybe I overreacted. How about make up the $500 gift card and I'll rescind my resignation. Then resign the next day. Not a bad bonus itself, but management's reaction to how we used our bonuses was despicable. Years ago I worked as a paramedic in the ER. The first few years, we'd get a pretty good bonus, $200 minus $500 depending on position. Then the hospital was sold. New owners cut bonuses and gave each employee a gift certificate for a free turkey from a local grocery chain. At the time, the value was about $15. Most of the staff, myself included, felt a bit dismayed, but we were polite about it. Since not many of us cooked turkey for Christmas dinner, we donated our gift certificates to a couple of homeless shelters in town. Management caught wind of it and sent an email to all employees stating that since we didn't appreciate the thoughtful gift provided by the hospital there would be no Christmas bonuses going forward. We tried to pay it forward to someone less fortunate, and got slapped in the would have sent that shit to the local media so fast. I got a letter from corporate letting me know that they had made a donation in my name to a charity. Specifically, to themselves, I work for a non-profit. The Human Fund. Money for people. Gift certificates at the restaurant I cooked in. Cook yourself a meal for free, basically. Last year our school gave teachers a plastic bag with, a mini candy candy, a mini hand sanitizer and a single tea bag. Oh god a single tea bag is so humiliating. Back in the 90s working for the UK civil service. Everyone was offered 5 whole English pounds. You could accept it and amp, it would be contributed to the Christmas party fund or not accept it and don't go. We also had to bring our own booze to the Christmas party. Our company Christmas party was tonight. We were all offered the opportunity to attend virtually, my group is all WFH from all over the country. Can't earn PTO, no holidays off, can't work on the holidays to make up the time, and can't claim the office party as paid time, I flatly declined. After busting our asses to achieve the goal for the year, the boss got a fat check. Mid 5 figures. We got a $5 Starbucks card. 1. Cup. Of. Coffee. Probably doesn't even cover a coffee nowadays either. What's a Christmas bonus? Never gotten one. Jelly of the month club. It was devastating. A large custom Hershey chocolate bar of the company logo. 
Please tell me you work for Hershey. A box full of candy and beef jerky. It also contained a book written by the CEO of the company about how to be better at your job. CEO found dead outside of company building with self-written book shoved in anus. As an intern at the zoo, working with lizards and stuff, the manager got us all sweatshirts that had the zoo logo and a nickname spelled out on the front. It said, the herpes. She meant it's a short for her pathologist. My name is Mercedes. For my grade 6 graduation the teacher was handing out awards for the kids. I got the VRRRM award. A ballpoint pen and cheat day planner with our corporate logo on it. My realtor gives me these every year since I bought the house. A butterball turkey branded check for a $10 turkey at the grocery store. Not a gift certificate a check with routing numbers and everything. I still don't know how it worked or why. I worked at a hotel and everyone was handed a legit check from Butterball for $10 with their paycheck. I took it to the grocery store and they got so confused they just gave me a frozen turkey. One of the bellmen said he cashed it for $10 and it worked. I'm still confused by the Butterball turkey check. They give these from Formula Commodities when you become a mom. They work like a check but only for the amount, so basically overly complicated coupon. An email phishing test sent by my employer to test if people will fall for a fake email. The email appeared to be from a gift card URL with a Starbucks logo and my employer logo and said I was getting a Starbucks gift card for the Christmas holiday. When I clicked on it, it basically said gotcha. If that was a real phishing email you would have been scammed. So they decided to kick everyone in the nuts for Christmas. My old job did that and there was something like a 40% failure rate, as in, the people clicked on it, almost every time, despite them constantly retraining the people. The same people just kept falling for it over and over. It was bizarre. My old work started by giving Christmas cards stuffed with cash. Within 10 years, the bonus was reduced to nothing. We ended up with a boring holiday party, two drink tickets, and a mashed potato bar. Many vital employees who helped build the place quit. The MGMT continues to chip away. It went from a great place to work to shit. A mashed potato bar? I've never even heard of this before. Easy every year I receive no Christmas bonus. Consistency is the key. Deleted. We understand you will probably want to quit after this. Please use these to get your new job. Coles employees in Australia lining up to post about their branded water bottle. Lol yes I shall display mine proudly. Here's mine. I was working for a company and was a few months in. In this company, there were full time and contracted workers. They would have people on contract for 3 months before converting them to full time. I was projected to move to full time in the new year. Before the holiday, they gathered all of us together on a meeting, gave the updates, and told us they had a special announcement. The CEO then said that everybody on the call was getting a $1200 bonus. Once we got off, they messaged us and said that non full time employees weren't included. They forgot to take us off of the meeting. So, my worst bonus was a bonus that I had and ended and have. This has happened to me twice because of contract jobs. The first time my boss went back and was able to convince them to give in a little bit. Like $100. The second one was a $2,500 loss. A $1 lint roller I was the first employee there and helped get everything going before they opened and then worked there another 4 years and that's the thanks I get. The owner later down the road tried attempting a huge insurance scam and tried to put all the blame on me after I had been gone 3 years. A swipe. And as a second bonus along with the lint roller I got a pay cut too. A past employer did away with holiday bonuses, holiday parties anything like that. 
then they announced they were getting us lunch for the holidays. They got us each a boxed lunch with a sandwich, fruit, and chips, which was nicer than anything they'd done since our small private company was bought by an ethical vampire corporation Fidelity. Then the rep for our vending machine company Sodexo mentioned that no one had said thank you for the Christmas lunches gifted by Sodexo, not by Fidelity. The company got in trouble for writing off employees' charitable donations as well, so this was exactly the kind of an ethical shareholder enriching plot they hatched at every opportunity. A frozen Marie calendar pie. Every freaking year. I work in food service in a kitchen. A pen with the company's name on it. The name was spelled wrong. My boss gave me a $10 Starbucks gift card. I don't like Starbucks, and it was completely empty. The day before Christmas when we were supposed to get our promised bonuses the company cancelled them, and the raises we were all promised, and then our hours got cut. Also the company directors and owner could go on a company retreat. When the company closed its doors a month later due to having no employees, they sent out letters stating how disappointed they were with our work ethic for quitting. One of the directors got a job at the bank and was fired a week later for unprofessional work behavior. I know, I am the one who fired him. That's what you get for biting a female colleague's boob John. Stories like this make my work seem very boring NGL. I got fired. Same. Large logistics warehouse handler job. All of us got a bag of Swiss Miss inside a company Christmas hat from our group manager. Told us to make ourselves a hot chocolate in the break room during lunch. Yeah that sucks but also could be that it came directly out of the manager's pocket and not the company. Maybe just wanted to do something nice for y'all. No Christmas bonus. Username checks out, but honestly I'm in the same boat. I've never gotten a Christmas bonus from a job in my life. I've been working as a registered nurse for 10 years and I have never gotten anything resembling a Christmas bonus. The only thing that's different is they don't charge us for lunch in the cafeteria on Christmas day. I work for a healthcare cooperation that made 7 billion dollar profit during the year of the plague. We had to wear the same mask for 7 days at a time before they'd give us a new one. Our bonus at the end of that year? A towel with the company logo. A fake gold foil Trump $100 bill. Hey boss seeing as this is clearly more valuable than those boring old Franklin hundreds, could you make change? Can I get like 820s? Getting laid off the week before Christmas wasn't a highlight. Got a $100 bonus taxed so came out to $67. Then HR sends out an email next day asking everyone who received a bonus if EQCH person would pitch in $25 minus $50 each towards a base pro shop gift card for the boss because of all he does for us. They asked every one of the 55 employees this. The same boss whom the year prior gave the server at the Christmas dinner $1,200 in tips because she sat on his lap like he was Santa and then proceeded to tell 12 people that they were fucking fired. And wondered why they didn't show up to work the 27th. Fuck you Ryan. You're a real piece of shit. You'll get Christmas bonuses? I was just about to post this. TF is a Christmas bonus cause I never got one in my life. I got a lot of money. In the form of overtime pay because I got called in to do 12 hour shifts in scenic, desolate Washington, Iowa. I hear that Iowa, Washington is much nicer. Deleted. I don't get bonuses. But this year we had to pay $80 pp to attend our Christmas party lol. So your gift was in the negatives. This one takes the cake. The saddest Christmas meal I've ever had. I used to work for an airline and had to work on Christmas most years. Usually the managers would provide a decent meal, 
either catered from somewhere like Famous Dave's or bringing in a ham and everything. The last Christmas before I left the company, the manager decided airplane food would suffice. Literally brought in little individual meals from the airplane catering company that consisted of a few shreds of some unknown grey meat, a small lump of mashed potatoes, and half the meal was bland looking steamed vegetables that absolutely stank. After getting a whiff one co-worker said only seafood should smell like seafood. $20 frying pan at my first job as a bag boy. Hash. That's not a bad bonus working as a bag boy, I don't think. I work in the trades. Here were the last four in order. A broken and a log wall clock with company logo, a donut, a winter jacket two sizes too small and a layoff. They mailed me the jacket a month after the layoff when it came it. And finally all the beer I could drink at a company party and three days pay, which was nice. I once worked for a physician who was trying to do a startup I was employee number one I got him a framed photo for the holidays, and realizing he didn't have anything for me, he left the room and came back with a check for $100 that originally said $200 but he scratched out the 2 and replaced it with a 1. We all received a book that the CEO wrote. Not a bonus but we had a Christmas gift exchange party after hours but they scheduled me for a morning shift the day after, and I legally had to go home and get 8 hours of sleep for work the next day and couldn't attend the party. The guy who was assigned to get a gift for me agreed to give it to me the day after, but he conveniently forgot to bring it to work. Asked him the next day and he still forgot. Ended up getting it in March. The rare St. Patrick's Day gift. Subscription to the jelly of the month. Did you want your boss brought from his happy holiday slumber over there on Melody Lane with all the other rich people? With a big ribbon on his head? So you could look him straight in the eye, and tell him what a cheap, lying, no good, rotten, four flushing, low life, snake licking, dirt eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant, blood sucking, dog kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, heartless, fat ass, bug eyed, stiff legged, spotty lipped, worm headed sack of monkey shit he is. Hallelujah. Holy shit. Where's the Tylenol? A certificate for a ham. On par with my butterball turkey check for $10. Not me but in the late 90s my mom was a nurse's aide for a very large hospital, approx 5k employees at the time, that would give everyone monetary end of year bonuses as well as vouchers in your paycheck envelope for a free turkey and a free ham at the local grocery store chain. One year though, without an announcement ahead of time. The hospital had no bonuses and no turkey or ham vouchers. There was a voucher however, to pick up your free copy of a hardcover, gold leafed, all pages printed in color book of the entire history of the hospital itself. Thousands of these had been printed and, by spring of the next year, waiting rooms and lobbies all throughout the hospital and clinics were overflowing with the books. Pages were ripped out and kids had colored in them. Several physicians. Surgeons and RNs quit over the lack of bonuses because that was part of their employment contract with the hospital. It was a mess. Point set your PLSNT from a multimillionaire. I worked for a small production company and every year prior to my starting there everyone would get the week between Christmas and New Year's off. Last year the CEO decided that work wasn't getting done fast enough. So he took the week away from us. Then, when the work he wanted to get done was finished just days before Christmas, he so graciously gave us the week back as a thank you for our hard work. At least two of my co-workers had to cancel trips they had planned because they were out of PTO. I got fired from that job last month and I do not miss it. I got a t-shirt and some work gloves at a construction company I worked at. Specifically my dad and uncle's construction company. They're multimillionaires many times over. I'm not fucking kidding. When I went on my own and did well my employee got 1000 bucks on his first Christmas and took him out to a fancy restaurant. I learned my lesson on how to keep employees.